that sounds pretty troubling for me. I ain't in Israel, nor have I ever been, and my parents ain't Israelites or Israelian. So, but what is he talking about if he says all of Israel? He doesn't say Californians included in that. He doesn't say, he says all of Israel will be saved. Like there's a guarantee about Israel. And so Israel, as you said, is God's people. So let's, let's look at something. Um, those who believe. Okay. And that's a, that is a good good pointer right there. So <clears throat> let's go to <clears throat> let's go to Romans right quick. Hold your place there. We're going to come back there. Go to Romans, I believe chapter 4. Um, just back up a little bit. Tell you the verse in one second. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, Romans. One second. No, I'm sorry. It's Romans nine six. There it is. Nine. It's um. We'll see it here. Yeah, chapter nine. And we'll start in verse number one. Okay, and I'll go ahead and read it. Romans nine one. I say the truth in Christ. I'm not lying. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I wish that my I myself were accursed from Christ. Uh, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So he's talking about natural Israelites. Remember, Paul was from the nation of Israel. He was part of that. He was a Jew by birth. Like he was born into that heritage. And he's saying, look, I didn't got a hold of this truth. And my people still think of Jesus ain't the one. He said, man, for the sake of them getting what I know, like for them to see what I've been made to see, and they would stop holding on to traditions, and they would accept the truth as it is. He said, man, I wish he would cut me off, because I've seen it and tasted it, so that they could taste it for themselves. So I could stop preaching to stone walls. I could stop lifting up Christ to people who can't see him, can't feel him, won't, don't even see the beauty in him. He says, I wish I was cut off so they could get that. And then he says this. Verse 4, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promise. I mean, they got the heritage. They got the, they got the history on it. They have been his people through Egypt and all of those different things with the patriarchs and how it passed down. It was in that nation of how he trolls. But look what he says. Whose are the fathers? And of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came. Christ came out of the Jewish nation, who is overall God blessed forever. Amen. But not as though the word of God has taken none effect, for they are not all Israel 
which are of Israel. What is, what is he saying? Because he said in, in Romans 11 that all of Israel is going to be saved. Make no doubt about it, no question, a deliverer is rising up, and every Israelite will be saved. But Paul is making a distinction right now. He says, but all of Israel is not Israel. All of the people who were born of the flesh doesn't mean that they are the people who have the inheritance of birth in the spirit. So God has made a promise, listen, Romans 11, all Israelites will be saved. So we know that the true Israelite, and just let's just read verse number 7 right quick. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called, that is, they which are the children of the flesh. These are not the children of God, but the children of promise are counted for the seeds. You start seeing a distinction. You start seeing a distinction between people and God's people. He has a people he's made a promise to. How can we rest in the fact that all of Israel will be saved if it's not based upon the nation? So hold your place there. We're going back to Romans 11, but just go John chapter 1 right quick. Let's get the scripture and then I'll let you ask a question, sis. John chapter 1. And we'll start at verse number 11. Okay, John chapter 1, verse number 11. Sister Rihanna, if you could read that one for us once everybody get there. When you get there, say amen. Okay. Hold on a second. Who is he talking about he came to? Israel, his own people, my culture, my heritage, my people. I came to my folks, and they wouldn't have, they said, you from right over there. How you talking about you the son of God? I know your daddy. I know what house you live in. You ain't nothing special. He said, and he came, and so they remember they said about him, can any good thing? Come out of Nazareth? Like, you from over there, like, how is God in all of his specialness going to choose somebody from over here? It's in accordance with Scripture. God chooses the foolish things to confound those that think they wise and they know it all. Remember, he's on a dead smack mission to run into our philosophy, our way of thinking. Remember, he says, my ways is not your way. Your thoughts ain't my thoughts. My thoughts are way higher. You looking at it from that angle, but you can't see the million other angles that I'm looking at it from, says God. And you're going to base the whole opinion around what you think, listen to this, and you ain't even checked in with me on it. You ain't brought that to, 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 to Lord, take this. Is, this. is this your way? Like, Show me the flaws and the, 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 the fatalities in my limited thinking. That's why he says this. Lean not to your own understanding. You can't do that. Don't lean. It's okay to have an understanding. But we got to submit or commit our way to the Lord. This is what I'm thinking. Is this, is this in your will? Is this your way? Is this? And that is our struggle. Because there's some things, listen to this, when I want to do my thing, that ain't getting submitted. I ain't even checking in with him on that. It ain't even a thought in my mind when I want to do my thing and have it my way. And so this is the whole, the whole goal of the Holy Spirit is to bring us to a place that we bear everything before him because this is how he's going to direct our path. We got to commit our way to the Lord, roll our works up on him. He'll let us know which way to go and how to get there. And so, verse 11, he came to his own, and his own did not receive it. They didn't, remember we talked about repentance was being brought to see it his way. He says, I'm the son of God. They said, no, you ain't. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. They said, uh-uh, I'm going this way. And so here is the direct picture of all of our hearts. And tell, listen to this, the Holy Spirit breaks 